So I just finished recording this video and while editing realized the entire thing was out of focus. So that's how my day is going. welcome or welcome back. If I seem abnormally close to the camera today, it's because I don't know what's going on with my lens. It, it's, it is what it is, so here I am. Today I want to talk about why a person with PTSD or any other such disorder does not owe anybody an explanation. A good example of a bad time to ask somebody about their trauma is when they're in the middle of having a panic attack or a flashback or excuse themselves at work. That is not the best time to walk after them and say, oh, you have PTSD from what? Don't do it. <laughs> the reason why is A, it can be super triggering to have to explain your trauma while reliving it. B, time and a place, buddy. <laughs> and also, even if it's a perfectly calm afternoon, you're having tea with your best friend or something, it's rude. It's rude to ask about somebody's trauma if they don't volunteer the information. And no, saying I have PTSD is not volunteering the information. Hey, that girl's wearing a skirt. I'm gonna go do something predatory and bad. It is the emotional equivalent of that. You don't get to know, I'm sorry. There are many reasons for this. One of the main reasons is that when you ask somebody what they have PTSD from, what caused it, how long they've had it, la la la. A lot of the time, in my case also, it puts the person on edge, thinking, I have to justify my illness now. <laughs> Am I going to sound like I've been traumatized enough when I tell this person? And sometimes you don't even want to tell the person because it's none of their business. I know you're a good person and you would never want to cause any sort of emotional turmoil or any kind of physical reaction that is not pleasant. <laughs> but it's none of your business. If I haven't volunteered the information, take that as a sign that you need to respect my privacy. You don't see a person wearing glasses and go up to them and look at their glasses and think, oh wow, why do you have glasses, do you? You certainly wouldn't go up to a person wearing glasses and say, what's wrong with your eyes? <laughs> Maybe you would, but please don't. <laughs> if you approach me and say, hey, what's, what's with the glasses? And I say, oh, I've got vision problems. That is not an invitation to discuss the matter further. I hope that makes sense. I have spent a lot of time feeling obligated to tell people about my trauma when they say, oh, you have PTSD? Why? What, what's that? What's it from? Dur -dur -dur. Now that I have accepted that it's my business and not yours, it is so much easier to accept my condition because when somebody asks me, oh, from what? I automatically think, oh no, I have to justify my illness again. A big part of my trauma especially is having to prove myself in the most ridiculous of circumstances. I'm not going to go into it right now because I don't want to. If you are asking me what it's from, there's a fear in my mind that it's not gonna seem traumatic enough and that I'm going to be judged for it, which has happened to me multiple times. And another thing, if I don't feel like I have the strength that day to talk about the super traumatizing things that gave me this PTSD, I'm not gonna be able to go through the rest of my day if I explain it to you. That's just how it is. It will likely send me into an episode. I don't want that. I'm sorry. Part of this condition is avoiding triggers. <laughs> and talking about your trauma can sometimes, usually, be super triggering. Um, that's just the nature of the condition. Don't get me wrong. It's okay to ask about the condition, but just know that nobody owes you an explanation. Your curiosity does not, <laughs> does not equal my duty, if that makes any sense. I just said duty. A big part of this whole concept, I guess, is respect. You have to respect that it's not your business. You wouldn't go up to somebody with a cane and ask them, why do you have that cane? What happened to you? And if you would, please don't. And if somebody confides in you and says, oh, I was just diagnosed with cancer, are you going to say, oh, what's the prognosis? If you would, don't. And you wouldn't go up to somebody with a service dog and start petting the dog and asking them all about why they have it, right? If you would, please don't, <laughs> please don't. It's the same thing, if you, come to know somehow that I have PTSD, you know a little bit more about me, and that's great. But 
It's not my job to explain my trauma to you, unless I want to. Ah, this all really feels bratty, but it isn't. <laughs> I'm really sorry, but it's not. And I just don't think enough people understand that. That's the whole reason why I'm making this video. Some days you can talk about it and it's easy and great and fine and healing. And other days you can't. For example, the video that I was meant to be recording today was about developmental trauma. And I was in the shower and I was putting my makeup on and then I realized, no, mm -mm, mm -mm, no, not today. So I recorded this one instead. <laughs> It's my job as a mental health awareness YouTuber to uh, discuss these things, but it's not my job to do it when it hurts me too, if that makes sense. And if you're a person suffering from a panic disorder or anything at all, just know that it is not your job to explain it in depth to anybody because at the end of the day, it's your business. And if you wanna be open about it, you be open about it. And if you don't, don't. Nobody can hold it against you. And if they do, and if they look at you differently for not wanting to bear your wounds to them, <laughs> that's a flaw in their character and not yours. Well, that's all I have for today. Hopefully it's in focus this time. And let me know in the comments below what your thoughts are on this topic. Don't forget to be kind to yourself and others today. <laughs> Bye.